Why not wake up to ABBA? I love ABBA, especially on a Sunday. Good morning or afternoon. I slept in a little bit. If you have quantum jumped here, you have seen or you are seeing the Mandela effects. You're also trying to get off narcotics and things that kill you. You sometimes come see me. And we have little fun conversations about what I see. I have been sciencing. I love to do science. And I'm doing some archaeology. Well, I'm doing some research. I like to research. I work in a museum. Still do. <laughs> Don't worry about that. In fact, I want to talk to them about Egypt because um, just, I'm going to go into the globe here in a second, but this is kind of cool. I found uh, the Saqqara bird. It's called a Saqqara bird in Egypt, and it was a carved bird that has aerodynamics. I mean, it, it could fly. You, it's a glider. You could throw it. It could fly. This was created back in the days of Egypt. Aerodynamics. Never heard of a Sakara bird, and I've taken the class, and I would have known about the artifact. This artifact is a Mandela. Never heard of a Sakara bird. There was a bird that was aerodynamically perfect that could fly in South America that was made by the early uh Oh, I forget what they're called. I have to look it up. It's probably changed now. In fact, I don't even know if it's there. It was a golden bird, it was uh it would fly. The uh Suka lines, the, the lines, oh god, I, I spit so long, I even thought about it. Kentuska lines, Juska lines. There's these lines up in South America that you could walk these long circles, and they also have uh, humans and you know animals. They're, they're sketched into the ground. It's really interesting. Tuska, Tuska, I can't remember what it's called, but they also had this type of aerodynamic toy that they had made, which is way past their, what we thought, their ability for technology. Now, I find out about this Saqqara bird in Egypt, and I definitely have to let my fucking workplace know about that. I, this is an aerodynamic bird. This is, this is a 747 before we even had a thought of things that could fly, a glider, anything. It was significant to me, and I want to let them know about that. Fine. And so, science. Um, while I was looking up information about history, because I'm trying to relearn the history, is I'm looking at my globe, okay? My globe has a severe tilt to it now. It appears that our poles have shifted or shifting. This has changed for me. This has shifted. It has turned. Significantly turned for me. I'm like, wow. Anyway, <laughs> so we discussed that the uh, Pacific Ocean is a lot larger, which uh, would also change the trade winds, which also would change the weather patterns. The El Nino, El Nino's weather patterns are going to be completely changed, and I've noticed that from last year. And the fact that we have no northern ice cap anymore will significantly change everything. But what I wanted to see was, when I was talking about stories last night, was uh, Beringia, the, the, the land bridge that was a lot larger, was iced over, and that's where they had crossed over in my time, in my dimension, from, from Russia, early, early days, you know. Uh, Siberia, all the way up across there. They had some ev archaeological evidence, not too many of some campsites. There was a lot of digs going on up there uh, from shovel bombs. I wanted to get in on it, but I was raising kids by myself. So, But it doesn't matter because it's changed now. You can literally walk across. You can fucking take a canoe across. So I've noticed that the migration patterns here on this planet, in this place, would have been hella fucking easy. Because the Europe is crunched together now. Trunk crunched, man. The passages to get to A to B is a lot easier than from what my time is. So the migration patterns are going to be so much more smoother. They can go so much further. 
that Australia has now been moved so far up, and it's right next to Indonesia. I mean, everything's a hop skip now. Whereas before, you had to, it was a it was a voyage. I mean, it was pretty fucking bad. I mean, it, you could die. But now it's just a hop skip. It's just bam. It's just right there. <laughs> So I've noticed that the migration patterns could be so much easier, and that means genetics must be split as hell. Probably a lot of European DNA makes it everywhere. Migrations would be so easy. Trades would be so much easier. No wonder. And uh, yeah, the Atlanta is, Atlantic is just blows me away, guys. And then I go back to the Pacific where it's just huge, huge, empty, open, but lots of islands, like they always have been. So when I did my studies about how we thought maybe China was the, was the uh, migration group that came through, one of them, well, I can see a whole different pattern from that now. I mean, everything's got to be different from when I was in East Timor and my archaeology, because it had changed since then. Hawaii's even kind of changed and changed. The alignment's sort of amazing, amazing. And I wanted to also talk about, uh, I throw things out, man, from fucking truth. This is my external hard drive, and I had this for years. Backups to everything, from college, right? External hard drive. And I got a lot of ripped movies. And one of the movies I have that's ripped is uh, uh, Days of Confused. And in my version of Days of Confused, there was not. There was not. And I watched it several times to see if I could find it. There was never a fucking island on the left side. New Zealand was never on the left side of uh, Australia. No. I've never remembered it being there. I've never remembered it being there. In fact, I even look at the movie review and on that movie, I don't even have that clip in my version of Days of Confused. It's not even there. I don't know where it came from on the internet. I have no idea. And I've, I've sailed these waters. I fucking drove a ship and I'm around Australia and there was no island there. Nothing. From me. Now, I'm not saying that. I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's a hoax. <laughs> I think that was a propaganda thing put out by some fucking whack jobs trying to get some, maybe get some revenue money off the internet, off fucking YouTube, I don't know. Whole lot of bullshit. But this is significant people. I want you to understand how significant this is. Look at that fucking tilt, man. Remember the tilt from our old globe. Look at the size of that tilt. I don't remember that tilt, that extreme. That's amazing to me. Everyone's trying to shut me down. That's great. So, yeah, um, I wanted to throw a couple of these quick pointers out there at you guys. Discoveries I made over the weekend. I've just been sciencing out of everything, man. I've been reading and I've been researching and even using my own books and a lot of things have just changed. And so I wanted you to know that you're not crazy if you feel the same way about the glow. If you feel the same way about... The air pressure, I've had a headache for two days. Uh, I've had on and off tonight is ringing like crazy. My head's been fucking spinning like crazy. I'm fine. I'll, believe me, I'll be fine. Sipping my coffee. Enjoying a Sunday. I'm doing science. I can't wait to fucking explore. I gotta get my passport fixed. I, it's been expired for a while. I've been working. I haven't... And the good news is I get to meet up with some people. I get to, I'm going on a trip coming up in a week from now. Um, I can't wait to meet, meet some MEs. I'm gonna meet some fucking MEs finally. I'm excited. I don't know where to, I'm going yet. I gotta get an itinerary, but it's a surprise and I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited. I wanna share information with other people that have the same information. I wanna like compare notes. I just wanna have like a note section and then have some beers, you know, just now and we're exploring and we're going to wake up this fucking planet it's just what's gonna have to happen it's just too much and your bible <laughs> the christian bible is changing so fucking rapidly and i'm not hating it i'm sorry if you guys take insult for that i'm not i like it it's more dudeish man 
It talks about being the king. I'm the fucking king of England. Shit. That's me in there, man. Get my kingdoms. Get them fucking reptiles out of the castle, man. They're dead. Inside, they're dead. They don't have a soul, people. Some of us have transferred here. We got here. We quantum jumped here, but not everybody made it. They're just an empty cell of themselves. They're, they're like soul one. They have no old soul. It's soul one, and it's crusted, and they're just... And a lot of them had woken up into the same position they were in back over there in Sagittarius, or the plane of existence that we came from, okay? Let's just go right through there. And they don't deserve to be in their positions. They haven't earned it. They're children in fucking skin suits. Shouldn't be there, shouldn't be in office, shouldn't be anywhere. And those of you that have woke up, you have to fucking understand how serious this is. You're being governed by children. I call them reptiles. Are they like fucking monster reptiles? I call them reptiles because of the size of the new reptile brain in here. And we've talked about that. So to me, everybody's a fucking reptile at the moment. Now, what I'm discovering is that not everybody thinks like that. You might be in a new avatar, but your mind is still from back to Sagittarius. It's still back to the old existence, where your frontal lobe was larger, okay? Creativity center was larger, much larger. I'm not sure that there's a small here that they don't have creativity like we do. They're not as creative as we are because our energy, we might have moved out of our old bodies, but our energy still has the shape of the old body. It's like the phantom leaf thing. You cut the leaf in half, you take the photograph, and you can still see the outline of the leaf. It's the phantom leaf effect with our whole body. So we're still who we are and who we remember we used to be, except now we're here and we're just confused about the new things that we're seeing. Now, some of the fucking old lizards that are here, they, they've always seen it, they know it, and they're upset that we can see it. Because we're gonna change some shit around. Garbage out. And I put out a video last night, two of them. One of them was banned because I had the same subject conversation. Just talked about the same thing. Except bear story time. It was banned worldwide that video it was just me talking to a stuffed animal it was banned <laughs> which is more significant to me than the ones that make it out which is awesome because it doesn't mean it's not going to go out it just means that i know something now so those powers that be will just kind of go out <laughs> It doesn't have to be on that same station. People, it's going to go out. Look for it. I have a staff that has been running all my stuff. So that would be today's early anthrologue. For those that know, 0514-2017. Wood R2-4232. Reporting information from the pilot house. Significant information. Significant for those of us that are awake. So I gotta go do some house chores. Laundry, I gotta maintain everything. I gotta pay some bills, I gotta get my bill. Take the science papers away and bring out the fucking bills. Still gotta live, still gotta fucking survive, still gotta do things, still gotta move forward. Can't lose everything at the last minute. Right before we're trying to build a bigger house for all the enemies. All the enemies. The ones that deserve it. So, I hope that was enough information. He is in there sleeping. I'll give you a story about him. If it makes it out, I don't know. Only one made it out last night. It seems that they're choosing the ones they want to go out. But I know that. That's why I make certain ones I know that don't go out. And then guarantee you, they will go out. What did an uh, old uh, fucking goofball say? Winning? I used to like 
like that guy as an actor. He was good, man. He just kind of went off the deep end. That guy went nutty. But a lot of those Hollywood A-listers went fucking off the, off the rails. Off the rails. Way off the, way off the reservation, man. And, and a lot of you are recognizing that now. Uh, the Bible is getting more sexual. And it makes all the sense in the world to me because of the large pineal gland. So this place traditionally is more sexually active. I guarantee you that. And maybe traditions and customs are different here than what you would know from our old dimension. So you gotta do a give and take. You can pray to your God. You know who that father is. You know who that mother is. You don't need to worry about the book. The book is there as it was a law. It was a law from somebody a long time ago. And you can't take out of that law. You can only take the emotion of the law, of the persons of persons or whatever from the law. So let's not go overboard on Bibles and translations and stuff. Let's just know what you know and how you know it. And we move forward. You move forward. And then we move together as a team, right? M-E's, man. Nobody free. We all get along. All religions, all cultures, all ideas. This is the age of enlightenment. He is fucking buried. I like it. I like stuffed animals. I'm going on my trip. I'm taking my stuffed bear with me. All right, guys. Logs out.